All right, let's talk about midpoint. As with all things in math, it was creatively named. Uh, so midpoint is the point in the middle of two other points. So let's say if I have a point A and I have a point B, then the point in the middle, C, is the midpoint. Now let's say if I knew this was one inch, then this would also be one inch because it's in the middle and they're equidistant. That's a funny word, let's talk about it. Equa distant. So they're of equal distance. Now the things we're going to learn today about midpoint is how to find the midpoint on a number line, on a Cartesian coordinate system, um, which is the xy coordinate plane, um, and given an endpoint and a midpoint, find the other endpoint. That's going to be the fun stuff. Okay, let's get into just finding it on a number line. So let's say I have this number line here. And uh, I have a point here, zero, and I have a point here, one and two. And I want to find the midpoint in between this point here at point A and this point here, point B. Now, we need to find out what point A and point B are before we can go any further. Well, looks like we were going to deal with some fractions. We have one, two, three tick marks. So that means that one has been split into three equal pieces, or thirds. So A is at one third. Neat. Um, and then we have two thirds, three thirds, or one, four thirds, or one and one third, five thirds, or one and two thirds. It doesn't really matter which one you go with. I'm going to go with the mixed number. So if I want to find the midpoint in between one-third and one and two-thirds, all I have to do is use my handy-dandy midpoint formula. That's supposed to be an M. It just looks hideous. Um, so you take your value and your other value. We'll call these the endpoints. And we add them and we divide by two. So we'll have one-third plus one and two-thirds divided by two. Uh, one third plus one and two thirds is one and three thirds, or two. Two divided by two is one. So right at one, there's our midpoint. Let's do one more example. Let's say I have another number line. Uh, this is zero, and this is one. We have one, two, three, four, five, so it is split into fifths. Something to keep in mind. So let's say I have another point, I'll call it point E for end point at one-fifth. And I have another point at um, D for the other end point at two and three-fifths. Okay, so if I'm going to use my end point formula, I'm sorry, my midpoint formula, not mind point, midpoint, um, then I need to take my two values, add them and divide by two. So I have one-fifth plus two and three-fifths divided by two. Well, that's going to give me two and four-fifths divided by two is one and two-fifths. So I'll go up to one, up to two-fifths. There's my fancy midpoint. All right, let's do this on the Cartesian coordinate plane. And you might be wondering to yourself, why is it called the Cartesian coordinate plane? That's a funny word. Well, it's named after Descartes, who, outside the math community, he's most famous for saying, I think, therefore I am. But inside the math community, he's most famous for being everyone's personal hero. He died from waking up too early in the morning. You see, um, he was a very sickly fellow and used to sleep all the time. And let's say this is one, and this is one. Um, and he was hired by the Queen of the Netherlands to tutor her in calculus and other math concepts. Um, but she liked to do her studying before state business early in the morning in her cold castle. The poor French mathematician slash philosopher couldn't handle working that hard or waking up that early and decided to die. 
so he's my hero there. All right, let's talk about uh, two points. Um, this point here and this point here. Okay, now if this is one, that means each tick mark represents one half. Um, so over here we have two. So this is the point two, remember x values come first, then y values. Um, and then we go up one, two, three, two, three, cool. And we have this other midpoint that's over two, and remember it's two to the left of the axis, that's a negative two, up one. So if we want to find the midpoint, the midpoint formula for a Cartesian coordinate system is very similar to the midpoint for a number line, except instead of just x1 plus x2 divided by 2, we also have y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Let's go ahead and plug this in. And notice there's a comma in between. Do not, do not, do not plug this into your calculator all at once. Calculate the x value, calculate the y value. Calculate them separately. If you calculate them at the same time, you will get the answer wrong. Okay, I feel like I've emphasized that sufficiently. Our two x values, we have xy, we have xy. Okay, so we have negative two and two. So negative two plus two divided by two. And yy, let's see we got one and three. So we have one plus three divided by two. And our midpoint is, remember, do the x values alone. Uh, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Then we have 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Well, 1 plus 3 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. So our midpoint is at 0, 2. Right here, and just visually, that does look accurate. Okay, we're going to do one more of these. say this is 1, and uh, oh, I want to have a negative y value. We haven't had a negative y value yet. Let's do one over here. Okay. So I have the, every tick mark is just going to count as 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, and negative 1, 2, negative 3. Okay. Um, if I'm using the same formula, oops, x has come first. Adding divided by 2. Um, then I'll have my two x values, negative 2 and 3. And my two y values, negative 3 and 4. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Divided by 2 is 1 half. Negative 3 plus 4 is negative 1. Divided by 2 is negative 1 half. Uh, maybe I should have incorporated fractions into this one. All right, so we're going to go to ne 1 half, negative 1 half. So positive 1 half. Oh, what am I thinking? Negative 3 plus 4 is a positive. <laughs> positive 1, silly me. So we're going to go to positive 1 half, positive 1 half, which approximately is right here. And there's our midpoint. Okay, the last thing we need to talk about is what do we do if I give you an end point and a midpoint, and I want you to find the other end point. Well, we're just going to go straight to a formula with this one. If you're given an end point, which we will call x1, y1, and if you're given an, a midpoint, which we're going to call xm, ym, then in order to find the last end point, end point number two we'll call it, well, that is found at xm plus the difference of xm minus x1. And then your y value is computed the same way. Midpoint plus y midpoint minus y1. Now, the reason for this, guys, is basically all we're doing is we're saying, hey, if we started at a point end point, and we went to a midpoint. So we went a certain amount of distance, right? Or the difference between them. And if we went that distance again, so if we added that to our midpoint, we'd end up at our second endpoint. 
So let's say I give you an endpoint um, 2, 8, and I give you a midpoint uh, at 6, negative 4. And I want you to find the other endpoint. Well, all I'm going to do is just plug stuff into the formula. We're just plugging in. It's okie dokie. All right, 3 plus um, ooh, midpoint, which was 6 minus 2. And then we have our other midpoint is negative 4 plus negative 4 minus 8. Okay, 6 minus 2 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10. Uh, negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. Plus negative 4 is negative 16. The other endpoint is at 10, negative 16. And that's all we need to know about midpoint.